You will never find yourself going up to a professor and having them shoo you away. They usually will stop their work and get overly involved in the conversation that you want to have, probably so much so that it distracts them from their own work. Is the kind of feeling I get every single time I approach a professor or an administrator, or even like the dean of our business school, is one of the most approachable people I've ever met. And I think that that has so much to say, A, about the LMU community, and B, the entrepreneurship program as a whole, with it being super small and like almost family oriented, I would say. It's fun here. It's really fun. Uh, you're in Los Angeles, California. There's a lot of activity going on. You're in Silicon Beach. There's always new things going on, new technology, new companies moving in. Kick at the beach with people you're working on companies with. So it's a really good mix of, you know, high pressure, yet really rewarding work. And then, hey, we can relax and have fun too. The sun's always out. The coursework and the pressures will push you to be your best. They'll get you out of your comfort zone. And that's where growth is, outside your comfort zone. KPMG had a business competition and I went off on a limb. Um, and applied for it and we went from LA rounds to San Francisco rounds to New York rounds and um, ended up representing the United States in Argentina against 21 other countries. That was one of the most incredible experiences I had at LMU. I played in front of like hundreds of scouts before to even like get to college and like try to get drafted. Played in front of thousands of fans and I don't think I was ever as nervous as I was standing and pitching my presentation in front of like 40 investors. That was like the best experience I think I've ever had here. I was in a freshman at LMU, but when I transferred, um, I actually met business partners at LMU that I started other ventures with. My goal was to find advisors who could help me throughout my college process. I've been really fortunate to receive a number of offers from you know really, really prominent companies, Snapchat being one of them, Universal Studios being another one. Um, and different advisors who own businesses who want to give like apprenticeships to students coming out of the university. What I'm working on started at a startup weekend, which is hosted at LMU every November. The top three get prizes and I ended up getting second with the boba idea, instant boba. You don't have to go outside uh, with our current model. You have to microwave it for a minute and you have a cup of boba, which is super, super easy. I've been able to start a nonprofit with one of my good friends in the sociology department. We support the education of underprivileged kids in Indonesia right now. I'm a sophomore entrepreneurship and AIM student here at LMU, but to be completely honest, entrepreneurship is the reason that I'm here. So up to this point, I've had a bunch of internships and opportunities that I wouldn't have gotten anywhere else. Just for one example, the venture capital investment competition of which Dr. DeMello was actually one of our key mentors on that project, uh, we were able to go out to Utah, compete with a bunch of other schools, brought home first. That's what LMU likes to do. I've been an athlete basically my entire life, and with that comes a different body type than your standard sizing and scales that you see at basically every shopping outlet. Um, so my idea is a brand called Assassina, which is a clothing line um, dedicated to making a sizing scale for the athletic body. We are working towards getting clothing into production. Um, so I've come a really long way from just an idea, and now it's about to be a business. I played baseball here at LMU. I went to like a public school and so we were always taught that professors weren't going to like care about what was going on. But every single entrepreneurship professor I've had has like let us know multiple times like they're ready for meetings and like they actually encourage us to go in and like meet in their office hours. Like I've had dinners with like three professors and we just talk about like what's going on in the business world. During my time at LMU, you know, I came in with a company um, that I kind of scaled into um, strategic mergers um, with various other companies, got a venture capital deal. I toured it on my birthday, April 28th, and decision day for colleges is May 1st. And uh, when I was sitting on the bluff, looking out over at Playa Vista, uh, I knew that I could get used to this and this is where I belong. If you just stick around at any floor of Hilton, um, from the basement to the third floor, uh, really anywhere around campus, library or Starbucks, you'll find resources if you just, if you have the confidence to speak up and, um, and engage with people. When I was touring the campus and touring the business school, um, the first person I met actually was Dr. Choi and he introduced me to the entrepreneurship program right off of the bat. Um, Dr. Choi has a ton of resources as well for seniors graduating because there's a ton of LMU companies that are looking for LMU graduates to employ. Any freshman, this is through your senior year, the best advice I could give is to utilize your faculty. The faculty here are so apt in getting their students the best opportunities possible. Or pretty much giving me 
a bypass of the application to talk directly to the person that's good to hire people. And through that, I've had several internships and there's a lot of great experiences I can speak to. I may have not have started a company yet, but I've had so many great experiences up to this point. I've had a marketing role. I've already landed a private equity gig for this summer coming up. And that's only my sophomore to the beginning of your summer. You can go to anybody, even if you don't have any professor in a class, you can go and talk to them. Even if it's a student, I think just by saying, oh, you're an entrepreneurship major, I'm also an entrepreneur. Oh, you're in the business school, I'm also in the business school. And then you just automatically network super um, fast. Our alumni is so strong. I went to like a real estate event at the end of my freshman year. Two of the guys were, they just so happened to be like ex-baseball players. Like I got their numbers and like we still keep up today. There's such a tight bond within the entrepreneurship program. Everyone wants each other to succeed and they're so ambitious to push themselves as well. We had a pitch competition recently. Uh, we we're all working together trying to make each other's pitches better. So it's really not cutthroat here. It's more how can I help you and then how can you help me? You know, it's just, just really dynamic ecosystem of students that are kind of driven to do things um, above and beyond, you know, other undergraduates. You can truly be an entrepreneur about the way you approach your education. You can actually take initiative, go up to your professors after class and work with them on side hustles, on projects, on a company you might already own. And I think it's really awesome that um, you can take that individualized approach here at LMU. One of the things I found was that you can really succeed in the entrepreneurship program by doing what you want to do. I was able to get board positions on different clubs. I was able to work on my business and get class credit through the incubator program. Professors kind of stress us to sort of apply to real life. So right now I'm taking um, an independent study with Dr. Choi. Uh, it's a business to business sales class. The first part of the semester we, we took um, time to spend on, you know, reading about different um, books on sales. And the second half of the semester, I focused it on applying that theory to my business and actually landing contracts. And uh, so far, I'm glad to say that it's worked and we've actually landed sales um, within this first semester. And I just started the company in January. When I'm taking the courses, it's no longer just taking it for a grade and it's more of a deep learning experience. In Dr. Glossenberg's class, we specifically discuss LA homelessness and the crisis that that brings. And it's such an important topic, yet we do it in such a methodical way. We discuss it from every single perspective. Um, and it's truly been like the most eye-opening experience ever. Studying at the Entrepreneurship Center has really given me a, a keen eye for looking for companies and seeking out companies that allow me to, um, if, I, if I were to work for them, to innovate from within. When I was registering for classes during the spring was actually an entrepreneurship class titled Real Estate Development. And I never thought that that would be offered you know, we kind of touch on a little bit of everything within this major, and it's kind of up to the student to figure out where they want to place themselves within a specific department, because entrepreneurship, again, is a whole umbrella of curriculum. And so, you know, if I want to be really finance specific, I can go into that vertical because I've learned, you know, the fundamental skills within the program to understand, you know, how to apply myself in a financial role position. Whereas if I want to go into a marketing role, I can do that because I also have that background and that knowledge. LMU has really good resources inside, but they also have really um, nice resources outside of campus that you can go, like you could take tours of businesses or go to off-campus events that LMU allows you like to have student pass at. The best ideas come from experiencing different problems. So whether that be traveling, going with the school club somewhere, going to a guest speaker in the science school on like coral bleaching or something happening with their ocean, like expanding yourself beyond just business school. You know, when I joined, I didn't know what this call was about. And then I realized, oh my God, this is being recorded. Okay, but uh, <laughs> so I, I totally blew the uh, blew the recording. So sorry about that. We all of us became fact members because we want to make a difference in our students' lives. What you guys might not know is that we really enjoy uh, hanging out with you guys. And uh, to be honest, I, I learn a lot. I learn a lot from you guys. I get a lot of inspiration from you guys. It's it's absolutely true. And. Uh, I get better as a person and I, I learn and, and improve. My own father is a professor and when I was a kid, every time he got a letter from a student, he would show it to me. And he, he would tell me, this is a million dollars, or this is, this, is what it's, this is why I do what I do. And I never would have dreamed to be on the receiving end of one of those. But to receive a letter like that means the world. And I, I save every one, I print it out, I put it on the wall, because that's really you know, what, where the value is when you see the growth, when you see the outcome, uh, and you see how far students can go. And, and then for me, the other part of, uh, of this is working with all of you, you know, whether it's 
uh, collaborative teaching, whether it's organizing guest speakers, whether it's uh, co-coaching -co teams um, and working in startup weekend or research projects. Uh, we have just a, a wonderful family here. My name is Jason DeMello, uh, assistant professor in entrepreneurship. I teach the introduction to entrepreneurship class. I teach entrepreneurial acquisitions, a class on how to buy small businesses. I've taught social entrepreneurship, new product development, and our EMBA MBA class on technology management. Hi, my name is Rochelle Webb and I'm a clinical professor of entrepreneurship and marketing and I teach entrepreneurial marketing to undergrads. I teach brand planning and entrepreneurial marketing to MBAs and I teach marketing management to our specialty program and Masters of Science in Management. Hi, I'm Lou Jaffe. I teach in the undergrad program um, Globalization and another course Managing New and Growing Ventures. I've run workshops in the MBA program on the ecosystem of business, as well as I've had the privilege of co-teaching a class with Jason DeMello on technology and decision making to the executive MBA program. My name is Mike Wojcikowski. I've taught two classes, um, New Venture Creation and Social Entrepreneurship. And my name is Darlene Fukuji. I am the Associate Director of the Fred Kiesner Center for Entrepreneurship. I oversee a lot of the co-curricular activities, so all the learning that happens outside the classroom. We believe in the diversity of thought, and when everyone comes together, that is when the real magic of entrepreneurship happens. It really takes a village. The passion of the students merged with the experience of the faculty and the commitment of the community is really a beautiful thing that makes our program really special. And it really is a community. I, I think the two words for me that come to mind are energy and empathy. You really do get to capitalize on this mind share that happens from a lot of veterans that have been out there who've done it and who have networked and made the connections to catapult a person in their career. As a collection, I would say the faculty members at LMU do a great job of also opening up the Rolodexes for programming that happens outside of the classroom. You know, company visits, startup weekend, global entrepreneurship weekend, and faculty are there at every single event, helping the students and getting to see the students um, put into action what they've learned in the classroom and building those different muscles out. And it's really a safe place for students to experiment. In my entrepreneurial marketing class, the students work on a hands-on project for an industry partner. And by the final class, the industry partner was so blown away by what the class had done. She said, this work is actually far and above what my own team has been doing for me that's been working for many years in the industry. The work was taken and it's going to be adapted and put into a real campaign that's going to exist in the real world. There's an exercise in New Venture Creations, a self-assessment. It's where each student goes along and writes their, about their failures, their successes, who their heroes are, and then they actually write their own obituary. The process of them actually having to contemplate their own death and how they want to be remembered is, um, <clears throat> is an amazing process. Uh, I've had any number of them come up to me and say, you know, this is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do here. And it's also one of the most valuable. Uh, the students had to do a presentation and the young lady came to my office earlier in the day and said, is it okay if I just do it with you and not in front of the class? And I asked her why. She said, because I'm not a great speaker. And I said, but you know, in your career, you're always going to be in front of people. And here's a great chance in a safe environment in front of the other students to do it. Why don't we just practice once together and let's build your confidence because I know you know the material and you're really great. And during the class period, she actually did her presentation. She rocked it. She was so proud of herself that she got through that. And I felt like, you know what? I just watched a young woman grow. And does it get any better than that? Does it really get any better than that in what we do?